Uh, what's going on, everybody? Uh, we uh, First of all, how are you doing? I hope you guys are doing well uh, on this Saturday morning or whenever this video is going to find you. Uh, I am Samuel McMillan. Um, we are currently in a series called uh, The Secret Place, and we just finished week two. If you haven't gone and watched that, uh, I challenge you, implore you, and urge you to go watch it. Uh, but the Lord kind of just put this on my heart just uh, not even 30 seconds ago uh, as I was um, I'm getting ready to leave to go watch a basketball game and uh, I feel like God just put this on my heart to just uh, put this out uh, for anybody that's experiencing this um, I've had a lot of friends uh, and people that are very close to me just uh, experience a lot of loss um, over uh, these past couple weeks days and even the past month uh, death in the family um, and things like that. And I just want to tell you that the Lord is close to you, um, that he has never left you. He has never forsaken you, that he is close. He is with you always, uh, even till the end of the age. And I want to share two verses with you as this was, this was just burdening me uh, and still is. Um, just for those that have experienced just loss in their family, death in the family, um, and things like that. I want to share these two verses. Psalm 34 and 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He's close to you. He loves you. He will never forsake you. He will never leave you. Um, and he saves those who are crushed in spirit. In Psalm 147 and 3, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Um, I think right now in in uh, if you're experiencing this and if you're experiencing loss and grief and pain and hurt in any, in any form or fashion, but especially death in the family and things like that, um, now is the time to lean close to those people that are, that are in your family now, uh, that, um, you know, now's the time to mend relationships that have been broken. Uh, now's the time to get closer to people you haven't seen in a very long time. Um, because, the thing that I've heard from a lot of people is, man, I wish I'd have had one more conversation. I wish I'd have had one more. I wish I'd have went to go see them one more time. And it's like, well, now that they're dead and gone to be with the Lord, if they were living right, um, now now it's about you being close to the people that are that you're around every day and people that, you know, uh, and forgiving those that have mistreated you and um, and mending those relationships if, if uh, you know, if they lend themselves to be mended. Uh, m mending those relationships and fixing those problems uh, within whatever friendship, business partnership, whatever. Um, now's the time to start leaning close to people. Um, and so, man, I just want to encourage you, um, if you're experiencing uh, death and loss and grief, uh, man, to lean, first of all, lean into Jesus. And then second, lean into your family, lean, in, lean into those that you might not have seen in a very long time and start mending those relationships and things like that. So, um, I just want to pray, um, and then uh, um, and then we'll go from there. Uh, God, uh, be with those Lord, that have experienced loss. Uh, Father, we pray, Lord, that as you're close to them, they start leaning into you, Father. Um, be with them. Give them comfort. Give them peace. Give them joy. Um, in this in this hard time, Lord, in 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 their families and in their lives, Father, be with them. Uh, strengthen them, Lord. Give them your peace. Um, give them your patience, Father, and, and just remind them, Lord, that um, that they're going to see them again, uh, Lord. And, and, and I pray that you just continue to be with them, be with their family, strengthen them, comfort them, Father. Um, and I pray, Lord, that your peace just wraps over their entire family. Lap, wrap your loving arms around them, Jesus. Um, and just remind us daily, Lord, that we are in desperate need of you each and every day. I'm missing your holy and precious name, we pray. Amen. He is with you. He loves you. Um, and do not ever, uh, and, and he will never forsake you at all, uh, regardless of what you're going through. Uh, we love you here at the Clear Vision Podcast. Um, and yeah, this is kind of just a, what, just a one-off, uh, but the Lord was just burdening this with me. And um, yeah, I, I hope that this blesses you uh, in some way. Uh, we will see you next week <laughs> for uh, episode three or week three of um, of The Secret Place. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you later. Peace.